Mark Davis. Reading of Talk Show host here in Dallas. He was talking about a uh, California appellate court that upheld a rule that said California homeschool teachers, in other words, parents that have their children homeschool, are required by California state law to have a uh, uh, state certification in order to do that. Somebody had challenged it, and the state court uh, had upheld the ruling. So uh, Mark Davis basically disagreed with that. But he said there should be some level of uh, state regulation, uh, a mild level, he called it, but some type of regulation. And he was taking calls on it. And I got in on the air and uh, told him why I didn't think the state should regulate uh, the quality of education that uh, parents are giving their children as homeschoolers. And you can find that conversation on another, another one of my, uh, my posts. I, I, uh, I had that on tape, but there were a couple things that I didn't get to get to uh, on the radio that I'd like uh, to tell my friend Mark Davis and the rest of you uh, about this. See, the thing about it is, let's say that we agree some uh, level of intervention or some level of regulation should take place just to make sure that a crazy person doesn't send out an untrained, uneducated child out into society that will all, all bear the burdens of the cost of. Okay, let's put a fact aside that every incentive in the world remains for caring parents uh, to provide their children a good education. Let's put aside the fact that most parents care for their children, okay? And uh, let's put aside the fact that the biggest person or the, the, the group of people most likely to bear the burden of a child's poor education are the parents themselves, okay, so they have a high incentive to make that education a good education. Let's put all that aside and let's assume that all those factors aren't enough. You're still going to get a few crazies that, that uh, teach their children only how to speak Klingon. They don't know how to speak English when they go to school or when they graduate high school, let's say. Here's why you still should not have the state regulate that, why this should still be left up to free individuals. Because let's say the case in California represents 100% regulation. It doesn't, but let's say it does, okay, just for the purposes of this argument. We're going to create a sliding scale where, let's say, submitting to standardized tests once a year would be considered a 10% regulation. Um, and teacher certification with submission to uh, standardized testing and agreeing to teach uh, to state curriculum standards, uh, like maybe something that's going on in California right now. Let's say that represents 100% regulation. Okay, well let's say that we're all in general agreement that the regulation should be pretty low. So we put it to a vote, we let our legislature vote for us, however the, the law comes into being, and let's say we set the uh, regulation rate, we'll call it, at 25%. Now, is that even fair? That's a very low rate of taxation, but is it fair? You have parents uh, and other members of the citizenry that think the correct amount of uh, regulation is 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. We're going to trample on the free will of all those people? and institute this 25% because it's only 25% regulation. We're not regulating that heavily, but you're giving the people that would like less than 25% regulation 
property in that area. So you can implement a regulation that might practice under only a 5% regulation. But the people that implemented that level, they want 50 or 100% regulation. And so what does it do? They creep. Government creep. It creeps up on you. They'll start you at 5, 10 percent, and they'll say, oh, but this, now, all that's under control, but this is a little bit out of control. We need to step in here. And I like you, Mark Davis, but I hate to say it, but it's people with this attitude that got us to the place we are now with public education. People thought they'd never give up their absolute 100 percent control over their child's education. But they gave up a little bit. And then they, they, they went to local PTA uh, members of, of, of parent groups having control over the education. Then it went from parent groups to citywide control over school boards. Then it went to state. And now the federal government's involved. It wants to give this one bland education to all of us. And now it's gone from, you know, from the ages of 6 to 14, we had submit our children to uh, compuls compulsory education. Now it's gone down to 5. Now it's almost to 4, and in the near future it'll be 3, up all the way to 18. So you see, if you represent, if you submit to 0.00001% regulation, these people will have a foothold and they'll say, hey, we would need more regulation, and you'll say, no. You can't do that. And they'll say, look, we've been given the authority to regulate in this area. And we think it needs regulated. So the right level is zero. And I say this with other elements, just like universal health care. If you want universal health care, I have no problem with you and your buddies marking a spot on your tax reform. Uh, tax forms and saying, I want to contribute to universal health care, and then divide that money back up, and you all go out and you get free health care from that fund. But don't force it on me. If you want heavy regulation of homeschoolers, you know what? Those homeschoolers that want to be heavy regulated, go be heavy regulated. Submit your students to standardized testing once a month, and go require yourself, go out and get a bachelor's degree. Submit to state certification, all right? But don't impose what you want on everybody else. You can have what you want, but if you impose what you want on everybody else, they can't have what they want. So how come you get what you want and nobody else gets what they want? And don't tell me the majority again, because we've already seen how that works. So regulation of homeschooling, that's fine. But deregulation is fine too. So you have to leave it deregulated. The ones that want to regulate it further, they can go out and submit to further testing. Once you require further testing, nobody can back up and say, I don't want further testing. So watch my other post. Uh, there are plenty of issues in there, but these are further issues of why you can't let government into regulation in the first place at all, at all, at all. Except for when criminal activity is involved. That's it.